top with sugar. Sugar being the main ingredient in chocolates gives chocolate for the most part an extremely good shelf life. A high end fudge and a low end fudge is basically the corn syrup content and the cream content. We use heavy cream. 40% uh, butterfat cream. And then we heat it. Now we use propane here because I don't have gas in the building, but uh, there's been some great strides in electric confectionery equipment, but I still think the fire is the best way. And I wash down right to the line, the cook line, so we don't get any crystallization whatsoever. So we'll do that continuously throughout the batch, especially just before it boils. Now this is the point where I add my butter. And I just drop it in. And I'm putting in one pound at a time. I don't want to lose the boil. I don't want to break that. One degree high or low on the temperature can make a huge difference in the consistency of the batch. And I'm not going to say I'm always dead nuts on, but we try to keep it within range. Now I'm going to move my kettle. off the stove. If I left it on the stove, it would continue to cook and continue to get hotter for at least another minute or so because the stove holds a lot of heat. On it is just sugar and water. Cook to 250 degrees, cool down, and then beat on a cream beater until it becomes this consistency. This is actually what gives fudge its um, consistency. If I didn't put this in, that would be way too creamy. I'm adding chocolate liqueur to it now, which is pure chocolate. You can't eat this. It's got a very bitter taste to it. This is how our chocolate fudge gets its chocolate flavor. This is my vanilla that I'm adding now. That's a beautiful batch. Sometimes, you know, you get a little bit of crystal on the top, and it's it's not bad. It's, it's good, but this is, this is the way it's supposed to look. Okay, what's going to happen with this fudge is in about 30 minutes we'll be ready to pour. It's got to be almost room temperature, maybe 110 degrees before we can pour it. And then we pour it and it sets for 8 hours or so before we can actually serve it. So we've got 12 different kinds of fudge. We've got 10 different kinds of soft centers. We've got 5 different kinds of turtles. Please come on down to Fidelis and enjoy it, whether it be in Pembroke at where we are now or at our Plymouth shop, which is right on the waterfront. Come down and visit, please.